Hello and welcome to this tutorial on installing and using Light Studio for Blender. In Blender 4.2, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and click on the little arrow. Then Install from Disk. Select the zip file and click on Install. After installation, check that the add-on is ticked. Don't forget to save your preferences so that you'll be able to find it the next time you open Blender. In previous versions of Blender, 4.1 and earlier, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-on and click on Install. Close the Preferences window and open the N panel with the N key on your keyboard. In the B Production tab, you'll find Light Studio. To start the add-on, click on Add Light System. In the first menu, you can choose the type of light to add. Procedural Light HDR lights based on photographs of real photo spots and reflector to brighten up a dark area in the image. The All category displays everything. Let's select a light and click on Add Light. It's very important to select an object to add a light. If no object is selected, the button is greyed out and won't work. Your lamp will be added around this object which is why it's important to select the object you want to light. Let's switch to rendering mode with cycles. We now see the lamp reflected in our mirror sphere. The lamp appears in the lamp list. You can adjust the lamp's parameters. Hue, light intensity, opacity, blur and blur quality. 2500 is a good default value. The Cut Light button cuts the light in half to create sharp reflections. In the event of the light passing in front of the camera, check the Hide to Camera button. The Transform options just below allow you to move the lamp. Longitude, Latitude, Width, Height, Scale, Distance from the object, and the Rotation. The last tab at the bottom is the Background. Transparent will make your background transparent. You can add a solid color or a gradient background with several parameters available. We can choose whether the background should be reflected in our scene or not. The backdrop button is there for that. It also works in solid color. The HDRI button lets you add a HDRI image to the background. Click on Browse Image. Change its intensity or rotation. The Only Reflection button allows you to have only the reflections in your scene, while keeping the color or gradient in the background. You can add as many lamps as you need. Each lamp is automatically added to the list. Use the Trash button to delete a lamp. The Square button makes only the selected lamp visible and hides all others. Ideal for accurately positioning a lamp and seeing how it reacts with your object. The I button lets you hide or show the selected lamp. Here's a very interesting option, the Position Reflection button. By clicking on the object with the left mouse button, you can position your lamp precisely on the object to illuminate a specific area. When you're happy with the placement of the light, right-click to exit this mode. Another incredible feature is the Change Light button. First select your light from the list, then choose a new lamp. Click on Change Light and the lamp changes automatically. This lets you test all kinds of reflections on your objects very quickly. The Reflector category lets you add a reflector to your scene. This object emits no light. It is used to unblock a dark area in the image. For example, we can see the side of the golden train when the reflector is close by. When I move the reflector away, the side of the train becomes all black. This is made possible by the bouncing of the light. Don't hesitate to click on Hide to Camera to stop seeing the reflector in your scene. If you move your lamp directly in the 3D viewport, you'll see a Refresh Sliders button in the Transformation tab. 
Click on it to use the add-on sliders again. There are two possible ways of positioning your lamps, either in the add-on or in the 3D viewport. Thank you for following this tutorial. Happy Blender and enjoy!